Howdy everyone, the time is 12.08 p.m. and it is November 18th. Welcome to another update from Great Lakes Weather and it is a snowy day outside today for much of Michigan in particular. Um, North Indiana and most of northern Ohio has stayed out of the main snow bands but lake effect snow continues and this is a pretty significant lake effect snow event and it's not over we are just done with the first bout of snow round two is coming and it is going to bring just about as much if not more snow to some places that haven't even seen it yet so we're going to get to that in this video we're going to discuss multiple models and what they're saying regarding the potential for snow. Make sure to subscribe to stay updated about this event and upcoming events this winter. It is going to be a harsh winter according to most forecasts. So you're going to want to have a source of information that you can get, well, all this content from. So make sure to subscribe and stay updated. All right, we're going to get right to this now. Let's load it up. Let's start with the Weather Prediction Center's forecast. All right, so um, before we get to this, let's look at the recurrent radar. So here's the radar as of right now across southern lower Michigan. Again, this is showing n northern Indiana, so we may actually go to the um, Grand Rapids site. You can see lake effect snow continues across many portions of western Michigan, and it even extends farther into eastern Michigan. Jackson, Lansing has seen a bit of snow. Apparently there's about two inches of snow in Lansing, and reports farther south of the I-94 corridor indicate anywhere from about two to five inches of snow. Really the bands of snow have focused in an area that kind of goes right along here and the band still continues to kind of sit over this general area as well. Later on tonight we are going to see these bands shift or later on tomorrow I should say. Later on tomorrow we're going to see these bands shift and they actually are going to be coming more down towards this general area right here okay so we're likely going to see a lot more snow in this area maybe upwards of six to ten inches of snow according to what some of the models are projecting the HRRR in particular is projecting six to ten inches of snow on Saturday where those bands focus up you have places such as Boyne City which is definitely making snow for the upcoming ski season that's getting quite a bit of snow as well in the low northern part of Michigan Traverse City's getting a lot of snow at the moment up in Marquette, you're seeing snow in certain places, not really in, um, not really focused in many particular places at once. But you do have some in an area such as Christmas. Wow, I didn't even know there was a town called Christmas in Michigan, so that's kind of cool. And Munising is now seeing snow as well. And you have this lake effect snow continuing. It is likely going to start to fade off this afternoon into this evening, and we'll look at that in the models in just a minute. But I do want to pay attention to this in New York as well. This event in New York is staggering. There is already about three and a half feet of snow on the ground in Hamburg, New York, so where this snow band has really settled over this area, and it's going to kind of stay in this area for an extended period of time. So that's going to be a rather intense event it's likely going to reach up to seven feet of snow that's very extreme levels of snow fall for that area especially this early in the season but lake effect snow does continue across western michigan and we're going to focus on what is going to be coming for this area later on this evening so let's get to that so or not later on this evening over the next couple of days through sunday so sunday is when this lake effect snow event will finally be over we've already seen at least over 24 hours of lake effect snow impact this region. We've had hundreds of school closings across lower western lower Michigan. So very significant day indeed, and it is going to continue. You look at this map. This map is from the Weather Prediction Center, and you can see the all the reds. This indicates the probability of snow accumulating greater than one inch over a 24-hour period. And there's multiple there's multiple places that are under this map here. And then you can increase the value greater than two inches. It still looks like high probabilities for Western Lower Michigan, hot, very high probabilities in um, Northern Lower Michigan. And then obviously where Buffalo is at, you're going to get a lot of lake effect snow continuing as well. And then you still have a good chance of snow accumulating greater than six inches in some areas northwest of Kalamazoo. And then even a low chance of accumulations in parts of Kalamazoo County. But the chance is greater focused when you go to a greater than four inches. There's a high probability that most places will see 
greater than four inches from this event. And then areas up here, such as um, the northern part of Michigan near Camp Grayling, you will get likely greater than six inches of lake effect snow from this event. And this is on top of what's already fallen. Some places in Kalamazoo has, have already seen a foot and a half of snow. And that's according to some measurements from some meteorologists in there. Over a foot and a half or a foot and a half of snow has already fallen. And then six to 10 inches on top of that, that's going to be a grand total of over two feet of snow. So a very significant snowfall event, even in Western Michigan, not comparable to the New York event, but still a pretty staggering event. Something you we haven't seen in quite a while here in the Michigan area. So Indiana and Ohio are likely going to sit out on this one. Well, unless you live in Cleveland, there's likely going to be some lake effect snow in Cleveland, especially on the eastern side. But main, the mainland of Ohio and Indiana will likely see maybe just some remnant lake effect snow showers that could bring maybe an inch or less. So you guys are kind of out of the woods on this particular forecast. It's really Michigan that's going to have the greatest potential to see this lake effect snow occur in the area. All right, so let's move into what the models are saying. I'm using the HRRR because the HRRR does provide a good overview of what could potentially occur with the focused snow bands, and then we'll look at a blend of models and see what the NWS blend of models is forecasting in terms of snowfall. So here is what is happening. Let's actually zoom out so we can see exactly what is taking place. So you have lake effect snow ongoing this afternoon, all right, so Friday afternoon. And then as we get into later in the evening, you see there are still some bands focused around here. But then they begin to dissipate. Dissipate um, early Saturday morning. It's likely early Saturday morning we'll get a brief break from the snow. So you might actually see some some actual sun. Well, I think I think there's breaks in the clouds here and there. But breaks, breaks in the clouds, and then by, by morning, by around 10 a.m., you see this right here. This is actually a short wave coming in. Okay, so it's so it's kind of a frontal boundary, a boundary to another air mass. This is going to push through the area, and then look what happens on the back side of this of this boundary that's coming through. Okay, you can see that lake effect snow reinitiates even as far back as Wisconsin. You can have a very energized setup for lake effect snow you get a sounding and it's you get very you have a very low dendritic growth zone and with the cooler temperatures and the very tight tight gradient between the dew point and temperature you're going to get a lot of condensation in that very low level which is going to cause a lot of snow to fall and rather quickly okay you got cape values even up into around 52 so some instability in the atmosphere and then those cloud bases are getting low and you can even see a setup for potentially some um, you see the setup for the cloud bases and the cloud tops that indicates this is still a pretty pretty intense lake effect snow event for something like this so you've got this snow that's going to continue in pretty heavy bands um, over the day over throughout the day on Saturday even in the upper peninsula and then in Cleveland as well and then by Sunday morning it will quickly dissipate as we will likely begin to see a change in the pattern and we will see a ridge build in that will give us some warmer temperatures which will definitely be bring some much needed relief from the heavy snow that we are seeing right now so Saturday is our next chance at heavy snow and quite a bit of heavy snow at that so that's gonna be something we want to really pay attention to because on top of the snow we've already seen it's gonna cause major travel disruptions including with the case of blowing and drifting snow that we are expected to have 40 mile per hour wind gusts could be possible with this particular event as well I want to go to the latest alert maps because they just issued some updates to Michigan so now the entire western side of Michigan's under a new winter storm warning. This is new. This is not this is not the same winter storm warning that was prompting for this previous event. But to get some data on that, I'm going to actually load up the radar graphic here. Let's pull it up. All right. So you see the maps loading real quick. You can see a new winter storm warnings in effect. These winter weather advisories are expected to um, expire later this evening, but that could change with the reissuance of 
potential a potential snowfall event. All right, so winter storm warning now in effect until 7 a.m. Eastern Sunday. Heavy snow, additional snow accumulations of 7 to 10 inches. This is on top of what we've already had, okay? Winds gusting as high as 40 miles an hour, and then wind chills dropping into single digits by Saturday night. So this thing is going to get worse, pretty much, okay? You've already seen a lot of snow, especially if you're in Kalamazoo, and you're going to see more, okay? So Sunday is going to be a very difficult travel day across much of western Michigan, okay? So you're going to be extra careful if you go out on the roads. You may want to consider not even going out on the road Saturday evening especially. And then the morning commute on Sunday is going to be impacted. The evening the evening commute on Saturday night is definitely going to be impacted. So be extra careful as you go out on the roads that during that time period because it's going to be really going to be really nasty across Western Michigan. So that winter storm warning is brand new. All right. And we'll see what updates they decide to release for St. Joe and these areas later on. But it is going to be a rather interesting turn of events. So that's what's going on with that right now. Let's take a look at what the possible snow totals from this event could be. So this is after 48 hours. So this is by Sunday at 7 a.m. What the possible snow accumulations of this could be. So for Jackson, you've got about four to five inches. Kalamazoo, it says seven inches, but keep in mind that these pink areas do indicate about six to eight inches. The darker shades of purple do indicate potential accumulations of up to 10 inches in some spots, even in St. Joe County. St. Joe County, you've kind of been out of this for quite a bit. You've had maybe two or two to five inches, which is what was put out by the National Weather Service. So you're like, it's looking like, according to the HRRR, you get a band of snow focused over your area because you really didn't get that in this previous event, but that could change with this upcoming uh, snow ban that could occur on Saturday. So um, up near Grand Rapids, just south of it, again, six to 10 inches potentially. So where we're getting these, where we're getting these purples and maybe even reds in some spots indicates pretty heavy snow and very impactful snow for travel. So it's going to be something to watch. Let's look at the blend of models. This gives a good idea as to what we could potentially see by Sunday at 7 a.m. Again, very similar setup based on the HRRR. The band focuses over much of western Michigan. You've got um, 6 to 10 inches once again across much of western Michigan. In fact, this is a widespread setup for accumulations of 6 to 10 inches, very similar to the HRRR. When the HRRR and the blend of models agree on snow accumulations, it's a pretty, it's a pretty done deal. I guess you could say, for snow accumulations. So that's why they're prompting the winter storm warning. And then likely northern Indiana will come out with a new winter weather alert later on today connected to this upcoming event. But Saturday, bad day for travel, maybe even into Sunday. And with that blowing snow that could be occurring, it's going to be really rough. So maybe a good time this afternoon after the snow starts to dissipate to get some materials to kind of hunker down for a day because it is going to be rather rough. And this isn't even nearly compared to what's happening in New York with that seven feet of snow potential that is ongoing with that. All right, that's all that I'm gonna need, gonna be discussing on this stream for today. Make sure to stay updated, subscribing, and also the website is posted to the YouTube channel. That will keep you updated on all the weather information. May do some um, traveling at some point in during this time period if if the time if it looks my car is capable of doing that so i will be providing live updates when possible on this event so i will come back another time to discuss the snow events and i will see you all later and please please stay safe out there